So why is there a why is there a Well, first of all, I would say I admire the fact. No, 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 no. We don't want any admiring. We don't want any admiring. We don't want any admiring. But I think you need to let me finish. I let you finish, and I am sure that you. We will let you finish forever. Since they want. Since they want. What is the response? My response is on a campus like the University of California, Berkeley. I am not about to let fifty. Right wing demonstrators. There's not 50. There was over 200 in the email that said over 200 people. Let's say it's 200. This doesn't matter. To allow 200 right wing demonstrators shut down a university. I am in demonstrations all the time in Latin America. As recently as the end of August, just before the first day of class. You keep the integrity of the institution you are a part of for 50 people or 200 people or 1,000 people to be able to shut this enterprise down, I think, is deeply flawed. That's not the point of the matter. We're coming from communities of color. We have people in our own land with their experience and education and we have a family process. I think even I know that someone wants to offer we are going to be the and the 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 there's barely any, any, any study student in here, but this class started with ethnic studies. We have a lot of geography students who probably have a different um, perspective. But ethnic studies does not allow the voices of this because it's not being heard like this class has been doing. And you can't be using ethnic studies as a, as a class, as like a way to protect the fact that you're allowing some people to have space when it's not happening. Uh, I'm not going to get into the debate on all these issues right now. I'd be pleased to address them at the beginning of class on Thursday. In fairness to everyone who's here, and I deeply appreciate all of you being here, uh, because it is something for a campus to be able to stand up by conducting its activities. This is a campus that is truly related throughout Latin America to the notion of free speech. <laughs> student demonstrations in Chile, student demonstrations in Mexico, in Guatemala. Yesterday, there were enormous demonstrations in Guatemala to have the president impeached and imprisoned. Anyone who marched in those was truly risking their lives. At the University of San Carlos, which we are in touch with, they held classes. They gave exams. You may disagree with it. I respect your opinion for disagreeing with it. I expect you. I respect you getting out here and stating your disagreements. But with that, we are going to go ahead with the exam, not not despite the demonstrations, but to show that all of us, as part of a community, are capable of doing what a university does absent that kind of interference. Otherwise, anytime 25, 50, or 1,000 people want to stop this death, it becomes their possibility, and we demonstrated that that's what will happen. Don't tell me that. Yes, understand your privilege. Understand your privilege. No, understand your privilege. Do not tell me that because on Thursday, you're going to see the people that I've worked with, that I was very close with, from these communities. You can work with as many people as you want. At the end of the day, you're not a person. 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 And we're not professors in administration who can forget about others. We're not professors who can just go about our daily lives, go to your nice house, go, to your, go get fed, go get fed, but go, go have your salary by the university. Us, we don't. We're students here. We don't have places to sleep. Not everyone has a stable, a family, a housing, food. Like, we have relations that we're real with.
be part of the future. This is our mental health. This is our physical health. This is what I what I'm more than prepared to do. We're going to let the students take the exam. We can walk outside, and I can can continue the conversation. I think we're going to head in with that because Carmen and Brenda stuck home right now. Uh, you are more than welcome to do that. Yeah. So we're actually on that. So. Yeah. You're welcome to because you know you're tired here. You're going to be here. And you said the university is doing everything. Why does anyone not speak to it? I don't know why you feel like sitting down, y'all. I don't understand. I really don't understand. You all can take the fucking test, but people are dying out there. And stop protesting and stop being angry because you're not supporting someone like this. There's some so. 11 undocumented people in the world, okay? Just look, don't remember, remember my face as well. Maybe go and take your test. But this university keeps protecting white supremacists, and y'all are protecting them too. As I said, I'm deeply proud of everyone being here to do what we do as a university, whatever happens outside. I flew back from New York and walked across campus twice to assure myself that there wasn't any issue that ought to prevent this exam from taking place, uh, or our class from taking place on Thursday. 